Hello, Baby and Me and Toddler and Me families. If you've been following along with any of the other videos I've made, you'll notice that those videos were aimed at the children. I wanted them to sing with me and dance with me and interact back and forth with me. This video is not like this. The goal of the Baby and Me and Toddler and Me classes, if you've noticed, is yes, to teach the children, but also, and sometimes more importantly, to teach the parents. The children are going to have fun and interact, but it's most important that the adults with the child go home and they make music an everyday part of the child's life. That is where the real aptitude for music learning happens. I know one story of an under one year old who went home and was banging on a box or a block something similar to what we were doing in class, and mom overheard it and started singing the rhyme or song that we do in class. And the baby's eyes lit up, and he was so excited. And that is exactly what I want to be happening. So this video is going to be for the parents. I welcome the kids to say hi, because if they see me on the screen, I bet they're going to come running. I miss them. But I'm going to run things real quick for parents so they can learn the rhymes and the songs, remind you of things you already know, and teach you some new things. In class, we do things three or four times before we move on to the next activity. In this video, I'm only gonna run things one time, maybe two if there's some variety opportunity, just to help your wheels get turning. So thank you for bearing with me. I know this is not ideal, but we got this. We're in this together and your children are going to become so musical because they have it in them. We're just going to tap into it so it can come out and be stronger than ever. The baby and toddler and me curriculums involve bounces, tickles, wiggles, tapping, and clapping songs and rhymes. So I'm going to give you a few of each of those in this video. And probably down the road, I'll make video number two and give you the same categories. Um, and between each one, I'll give you a little pause in case you need to rewind and remind yourself of a specific song. So the first one is Ride a Cock Horse. So of course your kid climbs on your lap and you bounce to the steady beat, okay? Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She will have music wherever she goes. And in class, we vary it by going side saddle from one side to the other. And that's how you can keep them engaged and do it multiple times in a row. And anytime your child climbs on your lap, just start doing a bouncing activity and sing along. They're going to think it's great. I'll sing it one more time for you. Ride a cock horse to Benbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She will have music wherever she goes. Trot, trot to Boston. Up on your knees. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot to Lynn. Better be careful or you might fall in. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot to Dover. Better be careful or you might fall over. Trot, trot to Boston. Trot, trot to town. Better be careful or you might fall down. A new one, I have a little pony. I, I have a little pony, his name is Macaroni, he trots and trots and then he stops. You can hold that as long as you want, the anticipation will kill them, in the good way of course. My funny little Macaroni pony. Those last two ponies also can be held as long as you want. Kids this age love the predictability of the steady beat bounces and then the anticipation and the eagerness of what's going to come next. So let's try that again. I have a little pony. His name is Macaroni. He trots and trots and then he stops. My funny little Macaroni pony. 
This next one is also new to Market to Market. I have seen it as a rhyme and I've seen it as a song. I've seen a lot of different verses. So this is what I settled on. You're welcome to share with your child whatever version you know. And you just keep bouncing on that steady beat. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. To market, to market, to buy a fat hen. Home again, home again, jiggity jen. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Home again, home again, market is done. The purpose of finger and toe wiggles are an opportunity to interact with your child. It gives them the physical sensation of being touched and the vocal expression. So be very expressive and how to communicate with each other. So let's start with this little cow. We've been doing this all semester. This little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow drinks water. This little cow runs away. This little cow does nothing, just lies down all day. We'll chase her, we'll chase her, we'll chase her away! And then you tickle. This is the mother. This is the mother. Oh, I'm sorry, you're supposed to start with your thumb. This is the mother. This is the father. This is brother tall. This is the sister. This is the baby. Oh, how we love them all. This is the mother. This is the father. This is the brother tall. This is the sister. This is the baby. Oh, how we love them all. And you can just rock your kid back and forth. Tickles are similar to wiggles. The cows are in the meadow. This one is a tummy tickle, but don't stop you from doing it on their back or their foot or their palm or whatever you want to do. I'll use my line, baby. The cows are in the meadow, falling fast asleep. Along comes a bumblebee. They hop up to their feet and you get them. The cows are in the meadow, falling fast asleep. Along comes a bumblebee. They hop up to their feet. Round about there. Round about there sat a little hare. A cat came and chased him right up there. Round about there sat a little hare. A cat came and chased him right up in there. Here is some tapping. There was a mouse. Two fingers up the arm. There was a mouse for want of stairs, went down a rope to say his prayers. And you can fold your little kids' hands together if you want. There was a mouse for want of stairs, went down a rope to say his prayers. Pitter patter, pitter patter, listen to the rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my window pane. And in class we had gentle drops and we had heavy drops when it was raining hard. So you can do that. You can pitter patter with their feet on the floor. Encourage them if they're walkers to tiptoe. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Or stomp. Listen to the rain. Pitter patter. You get the idea. Uh, when it was snowing, if it snows again, uh, you could sing pitter patter, pitter patter. Listen to the snow. Pitter patter, pitter patter on my car window. Or I made up a new verse for you. Pitter patter, pitter patter, drip drop coffee pot. Pitter patter, pitter patter, I will drink a lot. You're welcome. Our final 
section of music are clapping songs. It's important to remember that if your child is under nine months old, it's fine to grab their hands and help them clap together. Not forcefully though, of course. But if they're over nine months old, don't grab their hands. This is not a hand over hand behavior modification activity. This is just fun. You clap and they will develop the coordination to clap just like you. You're setting an example. If you want, they can rest their hands on yours. Or you can patty cake like this if they're on top. There are a lot of different ways. Okay. Hot cross buns. A classic. We've been doing it on our knees. Hot crossed buns. Hot crossed buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot crossed buns. If you've got any budding elementary recorder players, they might be able to play along with you. And then you can have the whole family involved. You can also crisscross and make a cross. Hot crossed buns. Or we've done shoulders, hot crossed buns. Or we've gotten real fancy and gone, one a penny, two a penny, hot crossed buns. I don't want you to be bored. Our final one is Tidio. This song has been popular in the baby class because we have jingle bells on a stick and our babies really like that. Uh, I encourage you to make some shakers of some sort, find some jingle bells, bang pots and pans and wooden spoons, mixing bowls together. Make some noise. Kids love it. It's so fun. Um, all right, here's how the song goes. Pass one window, tidy-o. Pass two windows, tidy-o. Pass three windows, tidy-o. Jingle at the window, tidy-o. Tidy-ho, tidy-o. Jingle at the window, tidy-o. Tidy-ho, tidy-o. Jingle at the window, tidy-o. Now it has a lot of different movements that you can add to it. You could teach them to clap on tidy-o. Pass one window, tidy-o. Pass two windows, tidy-o. You might want to sing slower. Pass three windows, tidy-o. Jingle at the window, tidy-o. Tidy-o, tidy-o. Jingle at the window, tidy-o. You get the idea. You could also involve older children in this song. And you could do a pat, clap, snap on tidy -o. Pass one window, tidy -o. Pass two windows, tidy -o. Pass three windows, tidy -o. Jingle at the window, tidy -o. Tidy -ho, tidy -ho. Jingle at the window, tidy -o. Tidy -ho, tidy -ho. Jingle at the window, tidy -o. Ooh, I almost missed that one. Um, you could also have your children jingle by shaking their jazz hands or jingling their instrument on the jingles. Um, so I'm gonna try to tidy O and jingle at the window. Um, I'm sorry if your kids start banging on the windows. Pass one window, tidy O. Pass two windows, tidy O. Pass three windows, tidy O. Jingle at the window, tidy O. Tidy ho, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy O. Tidy ho, tidy ho. Jingle at the window, tidy O. Enjoy.